What it is, y'all? It is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Dokkan Battle in a video that was actually due out yesterday. Now, I'm going to talk about the team that I built for this event because I think most people are actually using uh, this boo. But what happens if you actually don't have this boo? So what I'm going to do instead, instead of tech, I'm going to run AGL. Because if you're not familiar, basically for this event, if you go into battle info here, you got to run an artificial life forms team and you either have AGL tech and or int i've done like a combination of all the above now i could run him as a friend unit but to be fair he's not really supported by the other lead so i'm a little bit better off using uh this dude as the lead now the other option is to use uh super baby 2 as the lead he is an artificial life forms lead but he's only 130 percent so i think honestly personally for me i've found better results out of dual leading android 13. now android 13 is a target goku and androids lead so you can run a mixed team of target goku and androids with this unit and a lot of the target go well target goku is a massive massive um uh well i say skill but a uh, massive team so there's a lot of units on that team you're inevitably going to find enough of the artificial life formers units on there like i did to build this team out and case in point artificial life form and the best part about this dude the lr cell is a free senzu he tanks really well he's a great unit all the way around we've already introduced this unit who's going to be a big asset as well because if we take too much damage he could transform into the uh grade 8 mode and then we just tank for like one to two turns pretty awesome okay obviously super 17 really needs no introduction now he doesn't have the greatest defenses prior to attacking so we're gonna have to keep him on second and third uh say second and third rotation but second and third slot in our rotations because he really isn't gonna do great until he essays but this dude right here was an absolute shock this and android 13 after his eza is actually pretty good and he tanks like a truck unfortunately the only tech unit i have on this team and really this is the only unit that's gonna properly combat vegeta is uh first form cell the prime battle lr but he's gonna do a good enough job and if you're kind of gathering what i'm putting down here uh basically what we're gonna do we got so many agls we're gonna take on goku first and foremost so getting rid of goku basically means all we have at that point to do is collect orbs do our do our healing and then basically take down Vegeta little by little. So taking down Goku is going to be first and foremost on my list. As I say that, though, ooh, I'm going to go ahead and target Vegeta with Cell. Because getting damage out while we can is going to be pretty critical. Um, yeah, this is like this is going to be a great rotation. Okay, he's going to attack uh, Goku for obvious reasons. We got a lot of tech orbs there, so I can actually target Vegeta again. This is great. This is really great. Now, yes, I would have much probably preferred to put the two cells together. I think they would probably link up a little bit better. Uh, but... Alright, that's that's an unfortunate hit. I mean, we have like almost 600,000 health, so... Would you dodge or something? No, he's going to eat it. That is the one annoying thing about this. Pretty much you can guesstimate that... Goku and Vegeta are going to essay every single turn, uh, and if you're not... Where was that dodge a minute ago, you fool? I tell you guys all the time, I'm like, I the only reason that I have a really tough time with like SBR and all this stuff is that R and Jesus hates me. Just hates me. But neither here nor there. Let's get back down to it. Now, the next rotation should be all AGL, so we're basically what we're going to do is we're going to focus on taking out Goku on the next turn. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to actually take him out, but we're going to do the best job we can. All right. All right, so we got a lot of key here. I can actually put him in the front. Uh, he's not the best tank, though, so let's put him... Can't do that. Can't do that. Uh, you know what? I could. I could do that, and for one very good reason. Let's put him in the front. Let's target Goku. He's in the tank pretty well. We did waste a few orbs, but at the end of the day, it's really not going to be the end of the world because we're obviously going to feed this guy up. And once again, we're going to get a decent amount of healing out of that. And we're going to accumulate a decent amount of orbs doing this. So, like I said, getting rid of Goku is going to be a like basically paramount to our strategy here and the reason i say that is because while they could t like most of this team could tank goku sits pretty respectably 
And that does mean that Vegeta, uh, at least from an offensive perspective, is going to be a major threat. Getting attacked once and getting essayed once each turn isn't going to be that insurmountable. It really just means we can focus on healing. Vegeta, why do you got to be a jerk? Anyway, <laughs> that is that is the one major problem with this. Now, hopefully, uh, when Cell comes back up next turn, he might. I don't know if it's three or four turns. He might be able to give us a little bit of help, but let's see what happens here. Boom! Not good hits. We're not getting crits, are we? And his double attack... Did he just do a base attack with a double attack? Guys, come on. Okay, so yeah. So we got our Senzu, our free Senzu. Unfortunately, normally I don't need this till like turn three or four, but... All right, we are in turn three. Turn four or five, uh, but the... Unfortunate reality is we got double essayed out of nowhere. We basically got sucker punched. So I'm going to put Cell in the front and I'm going to target Vegeta. Reason I'm going to do that, he's a major threat, and the quicker I can basically wear him down, the better. Probably should be targeting Goku, but I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do. That. I think that's going to be better. That's a lot of AGL spheres, and that means next turn we're going to do a lot of healing. So we can, we can tank a couple of, like, big hits this turn and not even worry about it. So once again, why I say this team is really good, like, this very reason right here. This team really holds its own. Oh, perfect. Finally, someone does a double attack and does a double essay. <sighs> That was massively overdue. So if you've been having problems with this uh, this event, try to think of some alternative. Like if you don't have the boo, or if you're in my case, you have the boo and you forgot about it and you haven't awakened him yet. Um, ignore me. Um, you basically can. Ooh, we're wearing Vegeta down. Ooh, ooh. I almost kind of want to focus on Vegeta now. Uh, but I know next turn is going to be all about Goku, so... Well, I say that. I say that. There's Cell. Alright. It's a lot of orbs. Let's do that. I think that's going to work out for my... Yeah, yeah, let's do that. So we're going to... That should put a hurting on Goku. Um, we have enough orbs there, and then we'll have some orbs for Cell. Not a huge amount, but we'll have some. All right, actually, uh, no, it did not quite work out. Did not quite work out. Close, but not quite. All right. Goku's going to tickle. Uh, <laughs> tickle, tickle. Oh, actually, that actually hurt. I'm shocked. I did not think that would hurt that bad. That's what I get for mouthing off, isn't it? All right. So... That did not feel good. It is what it is, guys. At the end of the day, uh, level 30 is going to be more difficult. And uh, clearly, clearly our opponents are just going to be jerks. So, uh, if I had focused on Goku rather than doing some damage on Vegeta, we'd probably be in a better place right now. We'd have Goku down. Um, but I got greedy, honestly. Like, there's, there's no two ways about it. I got greedy. All right. Well, here we go. Um, seven, seven. We can get some healing out here if I do that. I'm gonna do that, and I am gonna go ahead see if we can wipe out Goku. That's at least gonna give us some healing. Uh, if Vegeta essays us. We can actually, you know, tank that pretty well. Let me replug my HDMI, which is going to be a pain in the butt. I see. There we go. Should be back. There we go. Perfect. Now, not in a good position here. That is okay. We'll get a little bit more healing out. I will once again focus on Goku on this turn, and just see if we can finish him off, and then we can finish off Vegeta next turn. I know that probably we should have focused on Vegeta a little bit, but remember we've got the Tech Cell next turn, so we could put him in a position to tank Vegeta, and that would be, I think, a little bit better. Uh, once again, in theory, had I like really planned this out a little bit better, I would already be done with Goku, and then I'd only have to worry about Vegeta's essay, but 
you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. Dude, would you dodge? Do your dodge. You got dodge in you. Oh, actually, he tanks, so whatever. You know what? I'm good with that. <laughs> I'm absolutely fine with that. Let's get rid of Goku, and he's done. And now, we just gotta wipe out Vegeta, and we'll be good to go. So, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I mean, it's it's not the easiest thing in the world, to be fair, but it, you know... I've seen a lot of people using Tech Khalifla, that's another method. Uh, but I honestly prefer... Like, a lot of these units actually do have a decent amount of, like, tanking and... Uh, and, and dodging in them. I'm just having really bad luck with my RNG. Uh, Tech Khalifa is another great option. She'll literally, like, just bounce around and, like, not take any damage. Um, she's a wonderful option there. And because Super Tech is still effective, you definitely can still do that. So, let's finish this up. Let's go. Bye, Vegeta. This should be the last, uh, last turn. So like I said, like if you really plan this team out, you can really take this down. You don't have to have Tech Boo. Um, once again, double Android 13 lead. And I don't think a lot of people have really used their Android 13 in a really long time. Uh, aside from, obviously, Extreme SBR. So, yeah, it's another great opportunity to pull him out of the, out of the, uh, uh, the old bin and let him do his, uh, do his job. Would you just kill him already? There you go. Now he's done. I hate that when there's like a sliver of health left and you're like, dude, you're dead. Because that's always when they come out of the gate with like some like, I just hit you for 800,000 damage. How is that pot? Whatever. But no, there we are. Bing. And I think most everybody that on my, is on my friends list is maxed out at level 30. So I'm going to try to go a little bit further. Uh, remember, easy A's are really, really, really expensive. So uh, I'm running, I say low, lower. Uh, than I was. I got about half the amount of Zenny I had a year ago, so I'm going to have to farm up some Zenny. So I'm going to keep going um, up the list here and basically just earn some more earn some more uh, Zenny so I can continue on down the road. But for now, let's give me the video. I'm going to go ahead and awaken these two, and we'll do some damage testing with them. I'll be back with that video here uh, probably tomorrow. Take a, Make sure you subscribe. Stay up to date. We'll, uh, we'll really give them a good test tomorrow.